Hey everyone, and welcome to ARCA 360 VIP training experience. Uh, today what we're going to do is we are going to draw our roof face to create a 3D design. Um, there's a couple cool tricks in here and a couple of tips I want to give you guys, so let's get right to it. So the first thing that I like to do before I'm designing a house is I like to look at the home from different angles. So here at ARCA we've developed something called a dual map mode, which is down here that you can see. So we click this, and this is going to give us a couple images of the house. So this is our Google image that we see here, but this is our Google aerial image. So we can see the different angles. Maybe we can see um, a better pitch of the roof. Um, we can also do a street view. So now we can look directly at the house. You know, maybe get some more angles on there stuff like that. Obviously there's a big tree in the way here, but this is just going to give us a better view of what we're looking at in real time. Now the cool thing about this is that you can actually design while you're in this mode so that you don't have to keep flipping back and forth and lose any progress. You can actually start designing your model right here so that as you're building, you know, you can maybe look at the angle of a house, you can check the pitch, the roof, anything like that. Um, so what we do now, let's get out of here and click dual map. So now we have our image, we have an idea of what we're going to do. So we click this button right here. So this says model, click that, and we want to go to pitched roof. Now, because we're building the roof, you don't have to click any specific area first. You can start at the gutter, you can start at the ridge, you can start wherever, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we'll just click here. And as you can see, it's doing measurements as well. It's giving me right angles. Come down here. Now, I am going to be honest with you, this does take a little bit of practice to do. Um, I am not the sharpest tool in the shed, but with a little bit of practice, I was able to figure this out. So we have our roof plane here. As you can see, it gave us all these crazy hips. So one thing that we can do is you just double click the hip that you want to delete. It'll highlight it. Click delete. It's easy as that. Uh, we can see here, we don't need this portion here, so let's delete that. Um, we can keep this, and let's say that we click something, and it's like, that's not right. All you do is you can either go back right here, or on your keyboard, Control Z, and it'll go right back to where it was. Uh, we don't need this hip over here, so we can delete that. Now, there is a little segment back here. There we go, that's a little bit better. There is a little segment back here that's a flat roof. Now we can add on another roof. So we just click model again, flat roof. And these two are not going to bug each other right there. There we go. Look at our base height dimensions. And then if we hit 33 on our keyboard, as you can see, that's sitting on top of the roof and that's not gonna work. So again, we go uh, 22. What we can do is just move this a scotch right here. Still sitting on top of our roof, which is fine. We can just make those adjustments here. There we go. Okay, so now it's sitting at the bottom of the rooftop, right? And we can see the different heights here. So let's adjust this to go down a little bit. So I like to have mine in meters. Um, you can always adjust yours to fit your preferences and your needs. Uh, there's also um, some adjustments that we can make on this as well. Again, you know, you can kind of just play around with it, find out the segments that work. But once you get it, it's a uh, it's pretty simple. Um, and we can even actually go all the way to the start again if we want to. Right, so we can delete that. There we go, that looks like it'll be a little bit better. There we go, that's a little bit more accurate of what we're looking at, right? So again, it's just kind of messing around with it and figuring it out. Um, and delete this as well. So I will say that we are 
developing this to be more AI friendly. Uh, so you don't have to do anything with it. You just have to open it up and it's gonna be here. That's gonna be coming within uh, the next couple months. So again, let's just do our flat roof here. One way to do it is like this, hit enter, and then we can just butt it up to that. See if that worked. Yep, there we go. Adjust this back down to our height. And then we can um, adjust this as well to Okay, so now that we have this all set up, uh, this is our 3D model. You can see it here. You know, again, if you have any questions or anything like that, if you need any training on this, um, go ahead and reach out to us. One thing that you can also do as well is click our uh, Google 3D mode. What this is going to do is this is going to pull up the LiDAR information. I like using this as a reference point. It will show the house as well as the trees, the surrounding area. So much like the LiDAR that um, you're familiar with and that you're used to, you're able to pull up that information here. So as it see, it's rendering the Google 3D data. You can see that it has the housing lines on here. It's always going to be a little bit skewed just because it moves around. But then once we hit 33, you can see there's our house. Right, this will also give us a uh, shade report, ground height, everything like that. We can pull up the sun simulation, which we'll show in another video. So again, if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. There's a link in the bottom below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me and we can walk through how to build this. Thanks so much and uh, stay tuned for more videos.